All right, skip the intro. When Thrustmaster sends you a box, you know it's a big deal. So I got my scissors ready. Let's get to it. Let's check it out. All right, so we got two boxes, not just one box, but two boxes. We know we've all been anticipating this new hardware that Thrustmaster's been talking about. So let's see. I'm gonna rip it open like it's freaking Christmas. Oh yeah, check that out. The Thrustmaster TCA Quadrant Boeing Edition. And there we go. Okay, so the flap throttle handles come separately. Or not separately, but they're kind of separately packaged. That's good. Kind of keeping protects. So we got two throttle quadrants here. We have a flap lever, a speed brake lever. Yep, that's pretty cool. So we can put those back here for just a second. And then we have our main base here. Go ahead and take it out. And there it is. It's a, uh, you know, I won't really be able to tell the scale until we put this on my desk, but it's uh, it's definitely compact, pretty small, and assuming I can just let's see if take one of these out. I know you guys are waiting for the big reveal. Oh yeah, that's coming. Alright, okay. So I guess I don't know if there's a specific number I'm supposed to place this on. It looks like this would be there's three of them, so I guess you could put them on any, kind of, you can interchange if you like. But yeah, you just place it on there, you just push it on, and there it is. So that's pretty, pretty simple. It's actually, honestly, uh, <laughs> as I'm touching this, man, like the axis of it is so smooth. That is crazy. Take a close look at that. Just with one in there. I can dig that. All right, let's, let's move on, because I know you guys want to see what I want to see, because we can put all this together and try it out in the sim, but... Um, yeah, let's move on to the big box. All right, big box time, big box energy. <laughs> this is the one I was really looking forward to. Handy dandy scissors. Rip it open. Let's see. And again, as usual, a box inside another box. So we got to pick up this whole box. All right, finally <laughs> got it open. <laughs> oh my God. Let's get to the good part. Open this baby up and see. It is a quite big box, actually. So, it's even bigger than the the rudder pedal box, or about the same size as the rudder pedal box. So here's some instruction. And actually, you know what? I think this is the set. Yes, this is the Thrustmaster yoke and throttle set. So this actually has another throttle in it. So we're definitely gonna be having some four engine fun. And I'll get, be able to test that out and see how that feels. Does it feel good? Does it feel legit? You know, definitely stay tuned for a full on review for all of this stuff. But right now we're just getting the first look at it. Um, but yeah, being able to hook up two throttles together to make a four is going to be a game changer. I've been looking forward to doing that also with my TCA Airbus throttle. So I'm going to put that away. We've already saw that. And keep going. Let's see what is this. This is... What is this? Well, what is this? Oh, okay, this is the clamp for the desk. All right, cool. So it has a, a clamp, I guess we gotta put that on. This might uh, require some, <laughs> some uh, yeah, engineering. Hopefully it's not too difficult to put together. So put that to the side. And uh, yeah, you gotta use two hands to do this. It's just impossible. Let's put this on the side and we'll slide it out. Like this. Be very careful with the merchandise. Let's take it out of the packaging. Don't worry, you will see this on my desk here in no time. Wow, look at this, man. Look at this. That is something else. It actually has some weight to it, to be honest. It's not heavy, but it has some weight to it. We have two little throttle levers here. I uh, remember at FS Expo, they said that, you know, if you decide not to get the throttle, you can at least have some kind of access to map to a throttle or something, uh, which is definitely good. Um, wow, yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're gonna have to put this on my desk because holding it like this is not gonna do it justice. But uh, this is, again, all Xbox compatible. It even has here on the side, if you can see that, a little uh, headphone jack for people on console. They have our flat lever on the side, which is pretty sick. And lots of buttons to press for people on Xbox or on PC. So, I mean, wow, I, I don't wanna wait any longer. I wanna get this hooked up to my desk. Um, get it set up and uh, let's see how it runs in our flight simulator. So looking forward to that for sure.
All right, guys, we are in Boston for this quick test flight using the Magnite 787. It just seems like it's just right to use a 787 for this test flight. Uh, so excited to see how this feels. So you can already see it's synced up pretty well with the simulator. So we'll see how it goes. All right, let's get to it. So we're going to give it full power. Make sure the parking brake is released and slowly put that in. Oh, there's a. <laughs> there we go. Power's coming in. Very smooth. The throttle feels very smooth. Like it's very. You can make very fine adjustments. Airspeed is alive. Give some left rudder. Still giving some more throttle slowly. Eighty knots. Eighty knots. Cross check. Airspeed is set. And we're already lifting off. This plane loves to fly. All right, nose wheel is up. We are airborne positive rate. Right here. Right, let's see. She, she, let's <laughs> see how she feels. All right, pitch it for about 15. Yeah, I don't have to over exaggerate the pitch here. The pitch feels very nice. I don't have to give a lot of pressure. It doesn't feel real stiff or even heavy. It's actually pretty lightweight. Going past. What's this? 1,000. 1,000 feet. There it is. Let's go ahead and bank to the right. Yeah, it feels nice. Obviously, want to add some trim in there, but we're looking good at the moment. Don't want to get too fast or too high. We're just doing pattern work here in Boston on runway 33. We'll level off right around 2,000 feet, making our crosswind turn. And we'll pull the power back. Again, the throttle feels very smooth. Like it actually feels, in my opinion, uh, better uh, than the Airbus TCA throttle. And I feel like maybe they just maybe learned from it. I actually went to the expo uh, recently, and I thought the throttle felt better than my personal throttle for the TCA Airbus throttle. Uh, but I think they maybe the tension. I assume there's a way. I haven't looked into it yet, but I assume there's a way just like the Airbus throttle to actually adjust the tension of this to make it feel you know tighter looser whichever you want so I actually like how it feels by default I probably tighten up some I kind of personally like a heavy throttle uh, but other than that it feels pretty good uh, as far as the yoke though I mean I could probably trim this out some and if my trim actually works I'm not sure if it's working I think it is yeah it is but pitch pitch wise it feels pretty good. We'll really get a good run up when we do the landing. So let's go ahead and bank right here. And it just, yeah, it just feels right, man. It just feels right. It's it's very hard to, to, to explain it when you can't get your hands on it. But as you can kind of see my inputs here, I'm not putting a whole lot. I'm just making very fine adjustments as you should uh, here to maintain. I have it trimmed up pretty well too. So that's helping out. But even banking left and right you can see the travel there we can go 90 degrees this is as far as it goes can't go any farther than 90 bank, degrees bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. and you can see it's not over exaggerating that pitch it might be a different uh, story in Microsoft Flight Sim because it's kind of known for that but in X-Plane at least it feels pretty good uh, it's not pitchy it doesn't feel pitchy it doesn't feel like I have to give it a lot of pressure um, very easily doing this with a couple fingers uh, as it should be. So let's continue making that right turn and uh, we're going to find runway 33 again. Alright, we're on a crazy final. I actually missed the runway, but I'm glad we did because it gives me a chance to do some crazy maneuvering that you wouldn't normally do in an airliner, uh, but it is going to test the limits here. We are making a very high bank angle left turn into 33, uh, I think it's 33 right in Boston. As you can see, I'm handling it very well actually. I'm uh, going to overshoot one more time, but Again, I'm able to make those fine adjustments on the throttle, which is extremely helpful. Uh, not having any issues from the yoke itself. It would be nice, I think, for some people's personal preference, possibly to be able to tighten the yoke. I think it po might be possible to insert another spring in there. You do get an extra spring in the pack, um, but it'd be nice to be able to tighten or or, uh, or loosen the, the yoke itself for people's preference if you want a heavier feeling yoke or a lighter feeling yoke. So here we come on final. And let's see how she handles. We gotta give us some more power. We are under Two. speed. 
Under speed, under speed. I haven't flown this plane in a while, so <laughs> don't have any high expectations for me. Ooh, baby. 100. And big bounce. Ten. Oh. And there's the reversers. Hey, you don't come here for the landings. <laughs> and there it is. It felt fine though. It felt fine. 80 knots. Great landing 246, I'll take it. And uh, we'll get rid of reversers. Come out, let it roll to the runway, and uh, I gotta say, I, if it didn't feel bad at all. I mean, there's a little bit of like learning curve on the way that it pivots, and it's kind of I, I do feel a little awkwardness in this area right in the front, but you usually stay kind of within here unless you're making big, big adjustments going from way behind to up front. You really don't feel any weirdness. Um, it's just kind of like I guess it's like the spring right here where it wants to get to the end of the spring that's pulling it you feel a little bit more tension. It's a little interesting. So again, I don't fly these planes in real life, so I'm not, uh, <laughs> I can't say whether or not that's realistic or not, but um, it may come down to preference. Again, for me personally, I think it's definitely very good. It's actually better than I expected. It actually has uh, uh, exceeded my expectations for a yoke from Thrustmaster. I think they definitely delivered on this one. And I think this is one that a lot, it's gonna really be a big competitor. Uh, against all the other uh, yokes out there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, let me know what you think uh, your feedback on whether you're watching, you know, you know, don't don't say anything about the landing. We all know it was bad. Other than that, uh, let me know what you think about the yoke and everything like that. There will be more videos coming out soon and live streams and a actual review. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time. Next video. I'm out.